Hey, what's going on guys? So recently I've decided to start doing uh, different types of tutorials. I thought I'd start off with a PHP tutorial and uh, we would make a website which we have here. We're gonna make an auto rental, exotic car rentals website. Uh, this website will have a few different features. I don't know that one. Thanks Alexa. So <laughs> hopefully that won't happen much. But, yeah, where was I? Alright, so we're going to be making an exotic car rentals website. And we'll get into it. We'll make a few features here and there. We'll make a login. We'll make, you know, a vehicle selection. We'll use Bootstrap. Uh, PHP, of course. And, uh, maybe jQuery for some stuff. I wanted to start off with this just because so many people aren't really well acquainted with PHP and everyone every time I talk to them says PHP is extremely messy it's extremely this it's extremely that and uh, I wanted to show you that it's really not the case especially if you've used other languages like Java and you know how to work with PHP the right way with that said uh, most of the times you're not just gonna write PHP embedded in HTML you'll use stuff like a framework, like CodeIgniter, which we'll use. It's one of my favorite frameworks. Um, and for this example, I, I figured it would be a perfect way to get you introduced to a framework, a PHP framework, that is. And uh, it, it can be translated towards anything, any kind of MVC framework after that. So to get started, uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that you have on Windows WAMP. So I'm on a Windows computer right now. What you're gonna wanna do is search for WAMP. There's WAMP server right there. But once you start getting, once you get into that, just click on the download. We'll scroll you down here to the bottom. I have a 64-bit operating system. So I'll click that. There's the download directly right here. And it's gonna download it. I already have it installed. But once you have it installed, I mean, it's really simple. Just click run next 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 to go through all the prompts and uh, once it's ready to go you'll have this icon basically web 64 you'll click it to run it and in your taskbar you'll see a local server like this running you'll be able to type in a local host to be taken to uh, your local host so we'll go to tutorials and we'll put in uh, this web application into this rental car folder. The next thing after you get your WAMP set up, uh, you're gonna wanna get CodeIgniter. Go ahead and click on download once you go to CodeIgniter.com. Uh, right here, this is the latest version. So once you download it, you're just gonna wanna extract CodeIgniter to a destination, we'll go ahead and we'll type in rental YouTube. So we'll go ahead and extract it there. Once we're finished, we'll show the extracted information. And there it is right there. So normally what I do is I just copy everything or cut everything out of this folder, go back up a directory. You could have just extracted it to tell you the truth in this directory and just renamed it, but there we go. Uh, and then I just delete that folder. So now, if we go over and refresh this page, your local host, wherever you decide to put it, click this, boom. Code Igniter is already set up and ready to go. In the next tutorial, we'll go through a few more things to get Code Igniter where we want it to be, and then uh, we'll start developing in PHP. 